Well, hello and everyone. Welcome to Business Today TV. I am Chetan Bhutani. Well, Uno Minda has come out with a set of numbers, and after a very long time and a very rare opportunity, I am now joined by Mr. Nirmal Kumar Minda, the chairman of Uno Minda. Thank you so much, Mr. Minda, for speaking to us at Business Today Thank TV, you. sir. Thank you, Chetan ji. Thank you, uh, sir. Uh, we saw the numbers coming out yesterday, sir, and uh, you know, a very high growth number of 17 percent. You saw. uh what are the factors behind this number sir and uh, what are you attributing these good numbers to sir see our target is to grow more than 1.5% or 2% two times than the industry growth that has been for the last 2 3 years in that goal and target keeping in mind we have been adding different product line mm. so there are some nascent product which are getting matured mm. you know like example two wheeler ev parts mm. two wheeler ev alloy wheels penetration of four wheeler alloy wheel so there are multiple factor so our kit value per car per two wheeler is increasing so therefore the volumes are stagnant maybe in some of the segment but our uh, you know x the, then the vehicle growth is increasing mm. so that is the main reason behind it adding of different part getting it matured and get kit value increase sir uh, when you started uh, you know when when, when minda group started uh, and in the recent ages till now you were the first person who actually you know uh, thought about electric vehicle parts and cng parts in its old days sir now that you are into electric vehicle two wheeler especially supplying parts uh, to many uh, good companies i want to ask you is there any supply constraint issues that you are facing right now and uh, how is the industry overall performing as far as the automobile component industry for two wheelers for evs is concerned so ev volumes in the two wheeler has been fluctuating the old age you know so called uh, the the startup evs you know they have gone down and the our uh, prominent player you know the regular players are growing and the volumes are growing much more than the expectations so our initial forecast what were given to us by the oems you know whether it was bajaj hero tvs and all they have grown almost double which is good for us so yes you are right there has been some constraint of the supply chain for the imported parts which we are importing from vietnam but yes we have been able to manage by air freight and all that and there were no shortage as such yeah. uh, we were able to comply with the requirements right also you uh, just you know started uh, your venture into the sunroof segment how bullish are you on the sunroof segment because now we see every Uh, entry level suv also having a uh, in fact a sedan or a entry level suv also having a sunroof uh, the higher end suvs and cars also having a sunroof because customers are wanting to have sunroof as a basic feature in the car so what uh, kind of market are you seeing in india sir so you are right i think this is a, is a very good attractive market and we have been awarded the order from one of the oems already and we started this plant our collaborator is icin which is one of maybe the top in the world the leader in the world for this uh, sunroof and we are now getting trying to get more and more orders of the different oems mm. so initially we go into phase wise manner and we look future you know a very bright future and we should be you know maybe grabbing over 25 30% market share in 3 to 4 years in the sunroof segment in the sunroof okay. segment. great sir i think that's a great number you're projecting uh, sir you know as far as the localization strategy goes you have in fact uh, led the race for localization in uh, component manufacturing in india uh, but chinese and especially cheap chinese imports still remain a concern for the indian automotive component industry uh what is uh, the minda group uno minda group doing as far as uh, arresting that challenge and arresting that issue of uh, 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 local chinese imports is concerned you are right there as you know the, the multiple associations are also working we are also working along with ecma siam siam has issued a, a list of component what, what are all being imported from china or other country basically the localization is the key so atmanirbhar bharat you know is our main motive under this motive you know recently we have organized unominda has organized a tier 2 uh, i would say the kind of mela the kind of exhibition where all the tier 2 have exhibited their product we have exhibited what are our, we are importing from the different part of the world so they can select and choose that this is what i can challenge they raise the hand and then we get aligned with them so this we are doing through ecma and uh, one by one companies one by one tier one we are doing 
So the drive is already on for the localization. So uh, as far as with your uh, greenfield projects for uh, for EV components is concerned, sir, uh, what are the plans for greenfield projects, sir? Uh, we we also know that you have been expanding a lot. Uh, give us those plans of uh, uh, greenfield investments, especially for e motors, controls, and chargers, and the production targets or market share that you are targeting, sir. So we have set up two greenfield projects. One is the motor with the joint venture of Bowler. Another is the you know um, uh, star, uh, controller and charger with the uh, how do I say with the Frivo. Yeah. Both are greenfield projects are in the Farooq Nagar. Come up very well. We started supplying to the different OEMs and already engaged with many of the Japanese OEM yeah. for their future models. Yeah. As far as the four wheeler EV is concerned, we have tied up with uh, Innovance, which is the, the, the number one company in China. And there again, the powertrain, motors, EV motors, chargers, 3-in-1, 4-in-1. There also we are engaging with the different OEM to localize. Mm. And we will, you know, once we get some LOI, mm. uh, we will be announcing it to the, to the market. Right. Of course, uh, sir, now beyond CNG, uh, you all also eyeing the hydrogen market when it comes to uh, passenger vehicles. Uh, what is the scope there and what are you working on there, sir? So we are fortunate, <laughs> lucky I would say. We have very good collaborator, Westport, mm. who are the leader in the world for CNG business mm. in uh, Canada as well as Europe, Italy. And with the range of CNG product, which we supply to almost all OEMs in the country. Mm. And he also manufactured the hydrogen and LNG component. So we have all the component portfolio and we are in discussion with the, particularly with the CV manufacturer to localize those uh, over a period of time as per their program. Okay, and also, sir, uh, uh, you recently announced expansion into the Indonesian market. Uh, uh, what, are, what, what is really, uh, how are you diver diversifying through expansion there and uh, what specific growth opportunities are you seeing uh, through the Indonesian plant, sir? See, as you know that Indonesia, we started our plant Indonesia and Vietnam in 2005, which is almost now 20 years. And that has been doing very well. We are the, again, maybe a single company or very few company that... Our competitors are Japanese and our collaborators, sorry, our customers are Japanese. So against the odd we are working. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the fortunate part for us is that, you know, like we are supplying the rear lamp to Franks in Gujarat, Suzuki. And the same Suzuki Franks is being manufactured in Indonesia. So we got an opportunity to duplicate the supply chain over there. So similarly, whether Toyota, Suzuki or any other model, if the models are common, so we got an opportunity in the uh, in, uh, Vietnam and uh, Indonesia, therefore we are expanding. Okay, and also sir, uh, there were uh, various uh, talks about how the group is expanding and purchasing land banks for future growth, automation and AI. Uh, I want to ask you, how much investments have you put in to acquire these land banks and what, take, what usage would that be for future, sir? Oh, that's a very good point. So, in the last year and this year, coupled with the, you know, about 700 crores. And, you know, what we have been doing in the past, you know, we have been opening factory, maybe 2 acre, 3 acre, 5 acre, maximum 10 acre like that. And then multiple plant of the same product. Once the requirement goes up, we have to add capacity, but we don't have the land, uh, we don't have the capacity in the same area. Then we do another alloy wheel plant, another lighting plant in the same location. So what we are doing now, we bought size of let's say 100 acres in each region. And uh, with this uh, 100 acres, we are allocating, we are making kind of an industrial park mm. and allocating to the our joint venture as well as our own 100% subsidiary company. And, uh, you know, there everybody can use common structure, common infrastructure, so cost is good, optimization, cost optimization in this single location. And the government also consider us and give us better, you know, incentives. Right. Also, sir, towards my last question now, uh, you know, uh, technology and artificial intelligence is what you will be dealing with in the times to come when, uh, you know, AI takes over how manufacturing is done, especially in component sector. Uh, how are you dealing in this uh, digital transformative space? Uh, because, you know, if the IT job is concerned, I'm sure uh, the autom automotive component manufacturing will also be get getting affected with automation and reducing the work of physical labor. 
Uh, what are your plans of transforming in digital space, sir? So, first of all, <laughs> labor, labor, you know, we are of that opinion that labor job in India has not to be reduced. Right. So, if we grow, labor should get their job or even more job if we can offer. But yes, your point of AI is very, very important, not only for the labor reduction, but for the consistency in the quality and increase in the productivity. So, our multiple plants have already implemented these practices. When you will visit our shop floor today, you will see by yourself okay. how are we integrated with the mobile phone, all our data of quality, productivity, all are online. Mm. And uh, But now we have set up a consolidated center in our corporate office okay. for AI, wherein we will work in a consolidated basis with an outside agency to, to go to the next level and next level. Okay, so and not only AI, but ESG, employment, the, sorry, environment, social and governance also. There are two, two areas we are, we are working very deeply. So we have a roadmap of AI to, to reach it to a different level in order to improve the productivity and quality. Right, sir. And, and uh, you know, you are into multiple products, sir. Uh, you, be sunroof, tail lamp, headlamps, uh, speakers, and what all? I mean, the, the list switches. is the switches. Of course, the major part. Uh, what is Mr. Nirmal Minda bullish on? I mean, uh, I'm sure all you love all your businesses, but one business, if I could tell you, if I could ask you, has a great potential, and you are bullish on. What would that be? No, for me, I think good question. But for me, my all babies are equal. <laughs> if I give any partial treatment which is not good. And our aim is whatever product we are in, we should get a good cake of the industry. Our aim and target is always at least 25-30% cake of that product line in the Indian market. And any other new uh, segment that you are targeting, you moved on to Sunroof, any other particular component you are looking at? We normally, now we want to consolidate and do for a vertical growth okay. for a time being. But yes, there are some opportunity when the OEMs request us to support them and they also you know bring the collaborators to us okay here is the collaborator you have good management bandwidth you know india very well you have good practices can you work with them so we do some feasibility whether you know not only that oem whether we can do horizontal deployment whether there is a gap of that market of the, whether it is a quality technology or capacity then we will consider that all right, well, all that, that, is that, a, that is our normal rule whether we can add any values in that product line to that collaborator and get the good cake. Get the good cake, I'm sure, uh, you know, being one of the largest uh, uh, automobile component manufacturer, uh, Uno Minda is all set to expand now and vertically and horizontally both. And uh, speaking to Mr. Minda, of course, uh, the main aim and the target is to get 25 to 30 percent of the pie in almost every segment that's feasible. Thank you, Mr. Minda, for speaking to us at Business Today TV. Thank yes. you so much, sir. With cameraman. Thank you, Chetan. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, with cameraman uh, Sanjay in Gurgaon at the corporate office of Uno Minda, this is Chetan Bhutani for Business Today TV. Yeah.